In this video, we are hunting a box of pennies. We'll be looking for any wheat scents from 1958 or earlier. We'll also be looking for any errors, varieties, proofs, forms, or any other cool finds. Just like the last penny box, we have one roll in this penny box that's completely white. And this box is roll number two, so maybe that means something. Probably not, but I'm excited to start the hunt, and I'll bring you in when we have our first find. Roll six, looks like we're going to have our first find, because I see the edge of what looks like it's going to be a Canadian penny. And it is, and it's from 1989. Roll number eight, and we're going to have the first wheat scent. Just open the roll, flattened it out, and it popped out back there. Hopefully it's before 1940. It is. That is a 1936 Denver. First wheat scent, and it's a pre-40s. That's awesome. Let's get more. Roll number 11, I see the edge of another wheat scent near the back of the roll. Hopefully it's old. Not too old, just a 1946 out of Philly, but it is our second wheat scent. Just set down that 1946, and I realized when I pulled it out, it was a 1955. Pretty nice shape, wheat scent, obverse facing. That's a pretty cool find, and I think they're right next to each other. That's awesome. Roll number 12, and we have a miscellaneous find. We have a Lincoln Kennedy Penny. They sold these, I think, just on their own, like with an informational paper about Lincoln and Kennedy and how their assassinations were. It's pretty similar, so pretty cool find. I've only found, I think, one or two of these before, so that's pretty cool. Rule number 16, and we just uncovered an obverse facing wheat scent. It's just the last year, 1958 out of Denver, but still a cool find, and it's wheat scent number four. Rule number 18, we have our second Canadian of the box, and this one is from 1981. Rule number 22, and we just uncovered a young and Canadian. This is a Canadian penny from 1964 or older. Let's see what it is. And it's a 1964. That's the most common year of the young head. I was kind of expecting it, but still a cool find. Roll number 26, and we're going to have wheat scent number 5. And it is a 1958 out of Philly. Roll 30, and we have our fourth Canadian out of the box. And this one is from 1994. Roll number 39, and we finally have another wheat scent. Another last year, 1958 Denver, but we finally have six wheat scents. Rule 42, we are going to have our seventh wheat scent. It's obvious facing, and it's a 1954 out of Denver. Rule number 43, we're going to have another young head Canadian scent, and it's from 1963, one year older than the last one. Penny box has been hunted, let's go over the finds. We had 12 estimates from the 60s and 70s, 5 1959s, and 16 2009s. Side finds, we had a 1960 Denver with a small die chip in the 9 of the date and the R of Liberty. Nothing too special, probably not going to keep it set aside. Also, we did get that pretty cool 1973D Lincoln Kennedy Penny. Five Canadians, two were young heads from 1963 and 1964. And then we had seven wheat scents from 1958 to our oldest, 1936 Denver. Also, in this box, I hadn't done this before, but I did start setting aside copper pennies. So we had a pretty good amount in this jar. And I'm probably going to start setting aside copper pennies from now on and see how different boxes compare to one another based on the amount of copper. Overall, that was a pretty good penny box.